Cholesterol is a fatty material that your body naturally produces. It's like a raw ingredient that's used to make important things in your body, such as hormones, the outer covering of cells, cell membranes, a substance called bile that helps with digestion and for repairing damaged tissues. Cholesterol doesn't just float around in your body on its own. It needs something to carry it through your blood. Think of these carriers like little protein wrappers. There are two main types, LDL low-density lipoprotein and HDL high-density lipoprotein. HDL is the good guy. It helps clean up extra cholesterol that your body doesn't need. It acts like a taxi, picking up the cholesterol that's not being used and taking it to your liver where it can be removed from your body. This is good for your heart health. Now here's where things can get a bit tricky. There's a type of LDL called SDLDL which is not good for your heart. These are smaller particles of cholesterol that can stick to the walls of your arteries. Arteries are like the tubes that carry blood around your body. When these cholesterol particles stick to the artery walls, which is called the endothelium, it can create a problem. It's like stuff building up in a pipe and this build up is called plaque. Plaque can make your arteries narrower and less flexible, and that's not good for your heart. If this plaque keeps building up and blocking blood flow, it can cause serious issues. You might be at a higher risk of having a heart attack when your heart suddenly stops working properly, a stroke, when there's a problem with blood flow to your brain or a blood clot, which is like a chunk of stuff that blocks a blood vessel. But don't worry, there are simple and natural ways to keep things in balance. You can lower the bad SDL DL cholesterol and raise the good edge DL cholesterol to help keep your heart healthy. Things like eating a healthy diet, being physically active, not smoking, and maintaining a healthy weight can make a big difference. These healthy habits help your body manage cholesterol better, which is good for your heart in the long run. In this video, we'll look at the best natural ways to improve your cholesterol levels by focusing on seven essential nutrients. These nutrients include vitamins, dietary supplements, and herbal remedies. It's important to remember that this video is for learning purposes, and if you have any health worries, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor. 1. Vitamin B6 Vitamin B6, also called pyridoxine, is a type of vitamin that dissolves in water and it's really important for many things that happen in our bodies. It's part of a group of vitamins called the B-complex family, which includes eight different B vitamins. Vitamin B6 has a lot of benefits for our health and one of them is that it might help lower cholesterol levels. In this video, we'll learn more about vitamin B6, why it's good for us, how it can help with cholesterol, and where we can find it in the foods we eat. Our bodies really need vitamin B6 for different jobs, like helping with making proteins, creating important chemicals in our brains, keeping our immune system working well, and making red blood cells. It's involved in more than 100 important reactions in our bodies, so it's a vitamin we shouldn't overlook if we want to stay healthy. It can help make our bad. LDL cholesterol go down by making enzymes in the liver that break down cholesterol so there's less of it floating around in our blood. Plus, it's like a superhero for dealing with this amino acid called homocysteine, which is not so great for our heart. Vitamin B6 turns homocysteine into harmless stuff, which is good news for our heart health. Another cool thing about vitamin B6 is that it can fight off inflammation. You know, when things get swollen or red, well, that's inflammation, and it's not so great for our hearts. Vitamin B6 can help calm it down, making our hearts happier and less likely to get sick. But wait, there's more. Vitamin B6 is like a bodyguard for our immune system. It helps our body make these things called antibodies, which are like tiny soldiers that fight off infections. So it's not just about cholesterol, it's also helping our immune system be strong and ready to protect us. Vitamin B6 is like a helper for our body in many ways. 
It helps make white blood cells, which are like the body's defenders against bad germs. And here's a neat thing. It's also involved in making a chemical called serotonin. Serotonin helps with our mood and having enough of it might help us feel happier and less likely to be sad. Now let's talk about where we can find this helpful vitamin. It's in lots of foods, both from animals and plants. Some of the best sources are things like chicken and turkey, that's poultry, fish like salmon and tuna, and certain parts of animals like liver. Eggs and dairy products like milk and cheese also have it. Don't forget about legumes like lentils and chickpeas and nuts and seeds like sunflower seeds and pistachios. If you like whole grains like brown rice and quinoa, those have it too. And even everyday things like bananas, spinach, and potatoes can give you some vitamin B6 to keep your body happy and healthy. 2. Selenium Selenium is like a super important mineral for keeping us healthy. It's not needed in large amounts, but it still does a lot of important things in our bodies. We find selenium in certain foods, and you can also get it as a supplement if needed. You can think of selenium as a natural ingredient in the earth, water, and some of the food we eat. It's like a body VIP because it's essential for our body to work the right way. One of its jobs is being part of special helpers called selenoproteins. These helpers do important stuff like keeping our immune system strong, helping our thyroid hormone work well, and even helping to build our DNA. So, you can see why selenium is a big deal. Selenium does some amazing things for our health. Let me break it down. Fights off bad stuff. Think of selenium like a superhero antioxidant. It goes after those bad guys called free radicals, which can mess up our cells and cause serious health issues like heart disease, cancer, and getting older faster. Selenium teams up with vitamin E and others to keep our cells safe and stop inflammation, which is like a fire in our body. Keeps our heart happy. Studies show that when we get enough selenium, it's like a shield for our heart. It helps our blood vessels work better reduces inflammation, kind of like cooling things down, and fights against stress in our body. Plus, it's a champ at lowering LDL cholesterol, the not-so-good type. Thyroid power. Selenium is a must for our thyroid, a little powerhouse in our body. The thyroid controls stuff like how we use energy, make hormones, and stay balanced. Selenium is like a key that helps the thyroid work perfectly, making sure the inactive hormones become active and keeping our metabolism in check. This means we feel good and our body works the way it should. Selenium is a real helper for our immune system. It's like the backstage crew that makes sure everything runs smoothly. There's something called selenoproteins. Imagine them as little protectors that work in our immune cells, helping them stay in balance and guard us against infections. Selenium is also great at reducing inflammation in our body, which is like calming down any troubles. It's like a superhero team, up with other nutrients, especially vitamin E. Together, they go the extra mile to make sure our cholesterol, the not-so-good kind, stays low, which is good for our heart and keeps it healthy. 3. Bile acids. The F-third and most effective way to lower cholesterol is by using something called bile acids. These are like helpers in your body that deal with fats and get rid of extra cholesterol. You can take up to 4,000 mg of these bile acids every day to make sure your body handles fats well and keeps cholesterol in check. Bile is a special liquid your liver and gallbladder make. It's like a fat dissolver and helps break down fats in your body while also keeping your cholesterol levels in check. If you're dealing with extra weight, a fatty liver, bloating gas, indigestion, or have issues with your gallbladder, bile supplements usually work well to make you feel better. You can find these bile supplements in a form called ox bile, but if you want something even stronger, go for tarusideoxycholic acid. It's like the supercharged version of bile acids. 
Taking a bile supplement does more than just lowering cholesterol. It also stops cholesterol from turning into hard crystals, which can become gallstones in your gallbladder. Plus, it helps your body soak up important nutrients that dissolve in fats, such as vitamins A, vitamins D, vitamins E, vitamins K, and vitamins K2. These vitamins are like bodyguards for your heart, stopping harmful plaque from building up in your arteries. So the bile supplement is like a double win for your health. Four, phytosterols. Imagine your small intestine like a gatekeeper for cholesterol from the food you eat. When you consume phytosterols from foods like extra virgin olive oil, pumpkin seeds, almonds, walnuts, pecans, and pistachios, these phytosterols are like the cool friends who compete with cholesterol to get through that gate. Now cholesterol and phytosterols are like cousins in terms of their structure, so they're similar but not exactly the same. The cool part is that phytosterols, being similar, trick your body into thinking they're cholesterol and they try to get through that gate too. Since there's limited space, this competition means less cholesterol gets absorbed into your body from the food you eat. Think of it as a friendly rivalry. Phytosterols are trying to take the spots that cholesterol would have taken, leaving less room for cholesterol to sneak into your bloodstream. This process helps normalize cholesterol levels, especially the bad LDL cholesterol levels, especially the bad LDL cholesterol. If you're looking for an extra boost, you can take a supplement with beta, cytosterol, a type of phytosterol. It's like getting a concentrated dose of the cholesterol-blocking friend. 5. Vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a powerful water-soluble antioxidant. Antioxidants neutralize harmful molecules called free radicals, which can cause oxidative stress and damage cells, including those in the inner lining of blood vessels, endothelial cells. This damage can lead to inflammation and plaque formation, increasing the risk of atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, and heart disease. Vitamin C helps maintain the health of endothelial cells by protecting them from oxidative stress. It also enhances the production of nitric oxide, a molecule that relaxes blood vessels, improves blood flow, and reduces the risk of clot formation. Vitamin C plays a role in cholesterol metabolism by influencing the activity of certain enzymes, including 7-alpha-hydroxylase. This enzyme is essential for converting cholesterol into bile acids in the liver. Bile acids aid in the digestion and absorption of dietary fats and cholesterol. By promoting this conversion, vitamin C indirectly helps regulate cholesterol levels in the body. Vitamin C helps prevent the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. Oxidized LDL is more likely to contribute to the formation of atherosclerotic plaques in blood vessels. By reducing LDL oxidation, vitamin C helps protect against the development of cardiovascular disease. To get the most benefit from vitamin C, it's best to go for the real deal from fresh fruits and vegetables. Think bell peppers strawberries, sauerkraut, cabbage, leafy green veggies, and citrus fruits like lemons, limes, or grapefruits. Eating them raw is the way to go. But if you decide to take a vitamin C supplement, look for whole freeze, dried fruit powders like camu camu, rose hips, or acarola cherry. You can mix these powders with water or add them to a smoothie for a healthy boost. 6. Berberine. Inside your liver, there are these special receptors for LDL cholesterol. These receptors help your body clear out extra cholesterol, which is a good thing, but sometimes a troublesome protein called PCSK9 messes with these receptors. This can happen, especially when there's inflammation, high blood sugars, or liver damage due to poor eating habits. Berberine 
also activates an enzyme called AMP, activated protein kinase E, which plays a central role in cellular energy regulation. Activated AMPK has several beneficial effects, including enhanced glucose uptake by cells, improved insulin sensitivity, and suppression of hepatic glucose production. This helps lower high blood sugar levels, which often accompany high cholesterol. Berberine exhibits anti-inflammatory effects. Inflammation in blood vessel walls can contribute to the development of atherosclerosis and plaque formation. By reducing inflammation, berberine contributes to the overall improvement of cardiovascular health. The recommended dosage for berberine supplementation often ranges from 500 milligrams to 1500 milligrams per day, divided into multiple doses. Taking it before meals helps optimize its impact on blood sugar control and cholesterol regulation. Berberine is primarily found in certain plants used in traditional medicine and herbal remedies. The main dietary sources of berberine include barberries, golden seal, Oregon grape, and Chinese gold thread. While not typically consumed in large quantities, these plants contain small amounts of berberine. It's important to note that berberine is not a significant component of common foods in most diets, and if you're seeking specific berberine benefits, supplements might be a more practical option. 7. Folic acid. Folic acid also called folate, is an important B vitamin that dissolves in water and does essential things in our body. It's needed for making DNA, dividing cells, and creating red blood cells, which are all very important for staying healthy. When a woman is pregnant, folic acid is super important because it helps form the baby's nervous system and can prevent problems when the baby is growing inside the mom. Another great thing about folic acid is that it might help lower bad cholesterol, which is a big risk for heart problems and strokes. Some research shows that folic acid might reduce the bad cholesterol called LDL, and this can keep our heart healthy. One way it does, this is by helping to control something called homocysteine. Homocysteine, which is a type of amino acid, can be a problem if it's too high in our blood. It can make our heart health worse. Folic acid does something cool. It turns homocysteine into another amino acid called methionine, which is really important. This change helps stop homocysteine from building up, which might make the risk of heart issues lower. Folic acid does more good things. It helps our blood vessels stay in good shape. It does this by making something called nitric oxide, which helps our blood vessels relax and lets our blood flow better. This helps prevent bad cholesterol, called DEL-DL, from sticking to our arteries and causing plaque, which is bad for our hearts. Also, folic acid can help fight inflammation in our bodies, which is good for our hearts too. Folic acid isn't just good for our hearts. It's important for our brains too. It helps us think and controls our mood, and studies have shown that it might help us think better as we get older. Also, folic acid is involved in making something called serotonin, which makes us feel happy. Folic acid is naturally found in many types of food, and you can also get it from supplements or foods that have extra folic acid added to them. Some of the best foods with folic acid include leafy green veggies like spinach, broccoli, and kale, also legumes like lentils, beans, and peas, plus citrus fruits, avocados, nuts and seeds, fortified cereals and grains, and liver. These are the top seven vitamins minerals that can naturally help lower cholesterol. These important things can help you take care of your heart and keep your cholesterol levels in a good range.